Welcome back, home growers, glass heads, and cannabis enthusiasts. It's your boy B, back with another home grow video. Today, we got something special. We're gonna be checking out the Makai Gelato from Raw Genetics and that Platinum Gorilla from In-House Genetics. Two gems, two completely different terpene profile variations. <sighs> Can I wait to show you guys? Now that in-house genetics was a freebie pack that I was gifted when I was bought when I bought um, the Makai Gelato and the Crumb Cake from Raw Genetics. So popped both of those. One did not pop, the other did. Could have been a user error. Um, Makai have 24 seeds. Uh, popped two of those. One did not pop, the other did. Could have been user error, who knows. Only time will kind of tell with that one, so we'll definitely see. But two gems came out of it, and yeah, could not be more hyped. Let's get a new Makai Gelato from Raw Genetics and Platinum Gorilla from In-House Genetics. Let's go. So we are first going in to the growth cycle of the Makai Gelato and the Platinum Gorilla. Really, this was these two plants were extremely easy to grow. Topped once, trained very poorly, as you see. But they grew into mini trees. Nice light green leaves, very tight nodal structure with the Platinum Gorilla. And as you see here, beautiful fade. That's the left on the Makai. And you see just some nice, beautiful fading of the purple leaves. The Platinum Gorilla did not have a lot of the fade as much as that Makai Gelato did, but man, just frosty nugs, super easy to grow. Two thumbs up all around with that with the growing cycle. Let's kick it off with that Platinum Gorilla from In-House Genetics. A cross of Platinum Kush and Gorilla Glue number four. A strain that is definitely not disappointed thus far. As I said before, super easy to grow. As you see, nugs just glistening in trichomes. A nice, beautiful, light green flower. Nice and not fluffy, but a good fluff. As you smell it, a beautiful, pungent smell consumes your nostrils full of sour, cushy, glue aroma. As you inhale, you get a nice full body, just glue aroma. And as you exhale, you are left with a beautiful, just perfect cush glue combination on your palate. Really can't ask for more from a strain, can you? As the high begins to set on, you are left feeling very uplifted in the mind, but with a heavy sedation glue-like body high. You could find this a great high for productive desk work, creativity, relaxation, or spacing out for around 50 minutes and then coming back to reality. Overall, in terms of how this cross was and how well these strains complemented each other to get platinum glue, I would definitely give it a nice 8 out of 10. This was a great strain. I would smoke this all freaking day. I'm going to miss this one when it's gone. I'm going to definitely have to buy some more seeds, no doubt. As for the specific phenotype, I only got two freebie seeds, 
So I'm gonna give this one a nice eight out of 10. I don't have anything else to compare it to. So it is a little bit flawed, but overall, as you see here with the breakup, it's a bomb strain. This thing, it needs to be in rotation. In-house genetics, definitely has got the fire. He's that platinum. He knows what he's doing with that. He's got, he's got the glue. He's got the flavors. It's nice. Overall, like I said, put this in rotation. You won't be disappointed. I'm going to let the bud speak for itself here. Let's jump over to the Makai Gelato from Raw Genetics, grown by me. A beautiful exotic cross of French toast, which is Face Off OG and Paris OG, times a Kai Berry Gelato. This exotic cross I was thoroughly excited for as she progressed into flower. As you guys saw previously, beautiful beefy nugs began to blossom. As she faded, rich purples, oranges, and reds came to light, slowing, slowly dimming into beautiful shades of each color. A perfect berry kush blend with the right kush notes coming out to be slight French toast hint with a bright bushel of fresh picked berries. This strain that made me reminisce a bit of the ice cream cake strain, but definitely hit heavier in the cerebral buzz heavier on the berry notes and that french toast mmm it, it may it may take the cake over wedding cake for me as you inhale you get a very heavy berry note instantaneously and on that exhale it's similar but with that perfect blend of kush this is probably one of my favorite strains that i have smoked to date I can smoke this all day, every day. I am extremely creative, extremely uplifted, super chill, mellow. This is a 10 out of 10 strain for me, without a doubt. It's a dank as fuck, as I would say. As you can see here, just beautiful, just deep purples, greens, orange pistols that just pop. Just makes this flower beautiful and just one of a kind. And just as you see, just that nice just layer of trichomes. Super potent stuff. Just that nice tight nug structure. Not too tight too. Just very, very nice density. Overall, this was just a great experience. I would definitely be checking out Raw Genetics if, if you haven't already, as I did with the Platinum Gorilla in terms of cross and compatibility with the strains, I would give this a 9 out of 10. Fantastic cross. Pheno wise, I've only grown two of these and one of them didn't pop so I don't have much to compare it to, but overall just this had great bud to leaf production, definitely bigger leaves but it would say 7 out of 10 phenol wise. So, but overall, this is again another strain that I would have in rotation. Keep on the lookout for Makai Gelato. Keep on the lookout for Raw Genetics. He's, he's big, he's, he's going. Much love. Overall, these were great strains to grow. Great strains to smoke. 
super different buzz than I've gotten from any dispensary bud that I've gotten over the past five and a half years. Really wish I can share this with you guys one day, one day. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's video of the home grow. As always, it's your boy B. See you guys next time. Stay healthy, stay happy. As always, good growing.